Hi guys, Quinn from Micro Graphics Tech again, here to give you another quick plant tip. Well, in this case, PNID. So, recently I had a query about how can, if a person is looking on the data manager, so we launch data manager, if you take a look in here, how can they take a look at this and see what line a specific valve is sitting on. You'll notice I'm sitting in the hand valves area. So inline acids, hand valves. But if you scroll through it, you'll notice there is ID information that you can identify an item. But where is this item actually sitting on a line or area or whatever it is? In this case, I'm looking for line number. So you do have options. You could put in something you could manually type it in. But because we want to work smart, we want to try and make it as simple as possible so it automatically grabs that information so if you were to take a look at these different valves you'll notice that they are sitting already on a line and the line has been tagged so what you could do is you can set up an acquisition rule so this is a pretty quick and easy thing to set up once you know how like most things I guess in life so how do we go about doing this it's quite simple. We're going to go to our project manager, project setup. Now, inside our project setup, you're going to go to the PNID DWG settings, PNID class definitions, inline assets, and then hand valves. By the way, this could be done for uh, most things are actually so anything that is sitting on a line so there's like part the pipe fitting specialty items reducers etc um i haven't played around so much with the instrumentation in that but it should theoretically be possible because as long as you're adding this thing uh what we're about to do up higher or a level higher it should then filter down to everything below it what i mean by that is that if we click on something like hand valves for instance you'll notice that several of our property values over here or the rows and the properties you'll notice it's got a little asterisk a little star on the left hand side that means that the property is being inherited from a level up or multiple levels up in this case because if you go to inline assets you'll notice some of these are also being inherited if we go to another level up engineering items there is nothing being inherited straight so if you add it in here, it will filter in all the way down to everything below it. So in this case, I'm, the, I'm only interested in adding this to the hand valves. I'm only going to put this into the hand valves, so it may not maybe affect everything else. Maybe the hand valves is only what I'm looking for. So I'm going to click the add in the properties. And in the property name, I'm going to give it a name. So in this one, I'm going to call it on underscore line underscore tag so what this is basically oh by the way uh, the reason why we put underscores is because plant doesn't like spaces it's going to complain at you if you put spaces in there but what you can do is you can erase those underscores by just putting a space in the display name so this is what we see basically in the front end and then select it as an acquisition rule now that that is done, when you click OK, it's going to say, OK, cool. How do we want to acquire this information? So this is the data sources menu. And basically, this is where we're going to say, OK, we want to go engineering items, lines, and on the pipeline segment, I want to grab its tag number. So the valve is then going to look at whatever line it is and then report that back into the data manager. Going to select OK here. And you can see my new one is on there. If we take a look, you can see it is an acquisition rule. And then you can also edit the acquisition rule if you want. Just make sure that it is set to visible or else you will not see it in the data manager. When you're happy there, don't forget to click the magic OK button or else it's not going to save it and you're going to have to redo everything. Once that is done, you can click on your data manager. Now, if we zoom, make sure that we're on the handles. If we zoom across, notice it's not there. Oh no. Click off it, click back onto it. 
You'll notice it's there now. It's just neat because we were all, we were originally on the hand valves, so we just needed to refresh. But the main thing I wanted to show you is you notice it is not populated that information. This isn't pulled it because it hasn't been updated. Sadly, this is not something you want to do mid project or have when you have a lot of stuff in because as you can see it doesn't pull that information through. What you can do though is you can come into the drawing and then bump the tag numbers. So if you were to bump it up one or higher and you click assign, sadly if you just give it the same number it doesn't seem to always pull it through. You do have to actually bump it up a um, to a higher or lower number whatever it is. So that was a thousand and now sorry a thousand and one now it is a thousand itself. And now when we hit save, property, no, nope, not properties. We want to go data manager. And you'll notice it is updated with the valve on that, uh, well, the tag line itself. So this thing can help you quite a bit, especially if you're setting this up right in the beginning of a project, you can then have a complete line list of items. Thanks guys, hope that helps you. Have a good one.